So in this video, we're going to be looking at integration resulting in a logarithm. Now, it should be fairly obvious to you, because you know your derivative so well, that the integral of 1 on x with respect to x is ln x, and of course, plus c. Now, the reason for that is pretty straightforward. Derivatives and integrals are reverses of each other. The derivative of natural log x is 1 on x, therefore the integral of 1 on x is ln x. That's as far as we have to go with that. Now there are a couple of key uh, questions. This is sort of, I guess, our first example when it comes to this stuff. Uh, let's do a couple more examples. Now the integral of 3 on x with respect to x, well that could be rewritten as 3 times the integral of 1 on x with respect to x, and that is ln x, so now we have 3 times ln x and plus c. So there's our first two examples. Let's take a look at a couple more. So we're going to need that formula before we get started on a third example. Take a look at it. It should look a little bit like that reverse chain rule question that uh, we did a, a little bit a little while ago. And let's take a look at an example. Here we have the integral of 5 on 2x plus 3 with respect to x. Doesn't really follow our rule exactly because there's a 5 on the top, not a 1, but I can fix that by bringing the 5 out the front. Alright, so uh, still with respect to x. So now we can apply our rule. It's going to be 5 times 1 over a, 1 over a, which is 2, uh, ln ax plus b, 2x plus 3, plus c. Alright, and that's 5 times a half, which is 5 on 2. 5 on 2, ln 2x plus 3, um, and our plus c on the end. Uh, there isn't a lot to say about this. Again, you can always check your answers. You should be able to find the derivative of that. I'd be very surprised if the answer wasn't that. You should be able to find the derivative of that. The answer should be that. You should be able to find the derivative of that, and of course the answer is that. So you can always work backwards and forwards with integrals. Don't forget your plus c's. Here's a neat little formula that you'll need. That's it. This video is short, so let's do one more little thing with it. Given that dy dx equals 2 on 1 minus x and y equals 5 when x equals 1 minus e, find y in terms of x. So this is one of those questions where we're trying to get rid of the plus c once we've integrated something. So, first of all, uh, let's find the... So y will be equal to the integral of dy dx, which is uh, 2 on 1 minus x with respect to x. Okay, uh, now again, it's not quite in this form. There's two problems. There's a 2, which I can get rid of by bringing that out the front. And then it's not in the form ax plus b. It's in the form uh, b minus ax. So I might just, for the ease of, of doing this, I might just rewrite it in that form with respect to x. All right, so what's uh, that going to equal? It's going to equal 2 times uh, 1 on a, which is 1 on a, which is negative 1, times, I don't really need a bracket, do I? ln um, negative x plus 1 uh, plus c. Okay, that's going to be uh, 2 times negative 1, which is negative 2, ln negative x plus 1 plus c. So that's y. Now, I've got that plus c there. The whole point of this is to try to get rid of the plus c. So to do that, I've got to sub a point into my equation. Uh, and the point is 1 minus e and 5. Sub point 1 minus e, 5. Into the equation. So uh, it'll be 5 equals negative 2 ln uh, negative 1 minus e plus 1. And so when we tidy this up a bit, we'll get 5 equals negative 2 ln negative 1 plus 1. So the negative 1 plus 1 are going to cancel out. And negative negative e is just e. So ln e uh, plus c. Okay, and you should know that log base e, e, any log with the same base and an argument there is going to be 1. So we get 5 equals negative 2 times 1 plus c. 5 equals negative 2 plus c. So c equals 5 plus 2, which is 7. To finish it all off, the equation is y equals negative 2 ln. Uh, I don't like that negative x plus 1. I'll just rearrange it to be 1 minus x. That's a bit neater. And plus 7. All right. 
uh, so that's one of those little ones where you're doing the plus C. But really this video is about integration resulting in a logarithm.